came off the seats by like a foot. They've recommended a red horse. Ready to go. <laughs> like one of the best things ever. I've ever experienced. Good morning, welcome back to Cebu everyone. It is a lot busier here today. The rain is not as bad and there's a lot of people around. But we are not staying in Cebu today, we are heading to Malvol. So we need to head to the bus station and try and catch a bus. We're hoping we can just turn up and buy the tickets there. Okay, so we picked up two tickets to Mall Bar, it was 167 each. It's about a two and a half, three hour bus ride, I think. Yeah. Um, it's a no way AC bus because the AC ones were full, so it might get a bit warm on here. It is quite warm at the moment. We are by window, so we're hoping that they're there. People just jump on the bus and they're like selling um, Corona and pies and water and then the bus is still moving and then they just jump back off. <laughs> we haven't seen that in any other country yet, have we? Yeah. Crazy. Okay, so we've just stopped at like a little services it kind of looks like. I'll check that out now, but our bus is just behind us there, that yellow one. But I've just come to get a shot of the view. Look at this. So we are on the coast now. Got some blue waters there. There seems to be a bit of a town just across there. And then you've just got mountains and palm trees. Looks awesome. But yeah, I'm going to check out this like services there. It just seems to be like food and stuff. It's like a services almost. Yeah, look cool actually. The view is really cool as well, but... Yeah, excuse me. You can see the different colours between the water. It's really, really cool. Get back on the bus. It should be leaving soon. We're heading over a massive bump. And I kid you not, we came off the seats by like a foot. It was... The Filipino people sort of looked, looked at us and were like, scared? <laughs> just love it. I was like, it's an experience. <laughs> so we've just got off the bus, we made it to Malboil. We are gonna just walk over to our hotel now. It shouldn't be too far away, about a 20 minute walk, but nice and easy. The bus ride was definitely an experience, but for that price, you can't complain. It was no. it was actually all right, wasn't it? Wasn't yeah, it was. It was, it was quite funny bus. as well. Every time there was a big bump, everyone on the bus was loud. Okay, everyone's so friendly. No, motorbike. You want to ride bike for me? No, good. Everyone's so friendly. Definitely love the camera here too. We have made it to our hotel. Our hotel is called Island Girl Bed and Breakfast, and we are here for two nights. So this is our room. It's the bed. That's a cabinet. We've got a fan. We've got AC. This. Is the best part. Check out this wall art. <laughs> that is sick to be fair. They're the whale sharks, I'm assuming. Yeah. How amazing is that? They have the boats going on the top. So cool. So we're just in sort of the bar area of the hotel. Out. Um, and we just ordered some food and some drinks. Is that a police dog? It says police on it. Maybe. Maybe that's just his collar. Oh. 
yeah, we basically just showered up, we were feeling a bit sweaty. Uh, we've come to the bar, it's happy hour as well, so we just got some rum and cokes to come in as well. And they've ordered food from the bar. bar. Should be too long, should be nice. Yeah, really cool chill out there here as well. There's the bar. And it's just like a outdoor, outdoor indoor seating vibe. Nice and easy. The room is literally out there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's supposed to start raining, so we're not going to head out today. We're just going to have some food here and then just see how it goes, really. But yeah, really cool place. Um, super affordable as well. And really handy that's got a bar and you can get food here. So awesome. Tomorrow we are going to hopefully be doing something fun. So it's meant to rain, but... Yeah, it is supposed to rain, but hopefully the weather holds off and we can get onto the beach and do something a bit fun. Okay, so we had some food. We had some potato lasagna and we had some chili con carne and it was absolutely lovely. Probably one of the best meals we've had in the Philippines so far. Oh, 100%. <laughs> it was like a proper homely, homemade meal. Lovely. But we're going to head out. We're just going to some bars, I think. We're going to head to one bar. Yeah. Grab a drink. Gonna, yeah, have a little look, see what's about. Yeah. Seems quite busy down in this area. I'll show you around now. So it looks as if there's a bar there, a bar there, a bar there, a bar there, a bar just up there. Oh. But we are heading this way. We're at Kuan Bar and Restaurant, which is the bar and restaurant that are owned by the same people that own our hotel which is really really lovely and it's happy over here too so we have got another rum and coke uh, this is also where we got the food from so if you're in mobile definitely definitely come here for some drinks and for food because the food is amazing Okay, so it is our first time in a bar. It's the first time we're having like alcoholic drinks in the Philippines. So they've recommended a red horse. And I've just tasted it, it's really good. It's very unique. I've never had anything that tastes, I wouldn't compare it to any other beer. And it is like 6.9%, so pretty strong. <laughs> Cheers. everyone it is the next day we headed out yesterday after having some food and we checked out the bar that is owned by the same people that own the hostel or the hotel and then on the way back after there we did stumble across a karaoke bar we headed in and everyone here seems really good at singing which is unfortunate for me because I'm not very good at singing um, but I give it a go anyway and we all had fun so yeah, that, that was pretty much our night. We headed back to the hotel after that and got some sleep. We're gonna go straight into today's video. There's a lot of noise about a bit of construction and stuff, but yeah. We are gonna be doing the sardine diving, snorkeling thing it's today. today so, We're uh, super excited. Yeah, really, really excited. We're gonna be able to see some sea turtles, hopefully. And yeah, the sardines. So we're just gonna get stuck in, are we? Yeah, we're just gonna get right in. You can do it on a tour, but we've decided just to do it on our own because it's way cheaper. Uh, one snorkel is only 100 pesos and the light jacket is also only 100 pesos. Ready to go! <laughs> yeah? I'm on my... Uh... Oh. This, uh... Okay. What are you doing? The spring just feeling it, but I've never done chocolate before. <laughs> it's so weird that I can breathe. And the water.
Okay, guys, there's so many charges, it's ridiculous. Basically, we've, we've ended up like joining the group. It's like, there's actually quite a few people. But, if you swim down, there's so many sardines, and then as, as you dive down, they all just scatter. It's, it's crazy. Uh, the water's not as clear because it's been raining a lot uh, over the past couple of days. It's quite choppy a little bit, but, but we've seen a lot of sardines anyway. And apparently there's a sea turtle, so we're going to go check that out now. That was literally the school. I thought the sardines were cool. That was absolutely insane. To see a sea hill wild in the sea, literally, oh my god, this is like a highlight of my absolute life. <laughs> there's a group of people here, uh, and there's a guide, and he's like... He was like, Dale, Dale, Dale! We like to over as quick as we could. That was really cool. Also, I think I've been stung by about a hundred jellyfish. See, my arms are like tingling, so I think we need to get out. But the jellyfish are so small as well, aren't they? Oh, no, you They're not the jellyfish like you see no. anywhere else. But that was awesome. That was literally amazing. <laughs> like one of the best things ever. I've ever experienced. A sea turtle just and like they chilling. And they were so big. I didn't expect them to be so big. And they actually swim really fast. Oh yeah, they're well big. I thought it was, be, I thought it was going to be like a tortoise like this. Yeah, that's they what you would presume. But when they swim in, man, like, they are fast. They just, he, he just went. Yeah. You can see my jellyfish thing's quite prominent. You can hear, you can hear, hear. I think I got something in the back of my arm too, maybe? Have any on the back? Oh, but there, yeah. Well, now I can say I've been somewhere jellyfish and I survived. I think jellyfish things must be quite common. Like, uh, like uh, back home, you don't really hear of it. But... No, back home, if I got somewhere jellyfish, I'd be terrified. But yeah, you're like, oh, ah, well, jellyfish. Yeah, jellyfish, I've, sardines, I've and turtles. I've literally been stung probably about 20 times on my arm. Two times. Since we had lunch earlier, we've just sort of chilled out and had a bit of a relaxing afternoon, haven't we? Yeah, we had a bit of a nap too. Yeah. Um, Surprising how much being in the sea for so long tires you out. Yeah. <laughs> it was really cool though, seeing the turtles and the sardines. Definitely recommend doing it if you are in the area. I think oh, it's yeah. like the number one thing to do in the area. Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to do Kawasan Falls, Kawasan Falls. Yeah, we're not going to be able to do the canyoneering purely because of the weather. So the past couple of days they've cancelled all the tours to Kawasan Falls because of the weather. Um, it has been raining like on and off pretty much the past few days. Yeah, the rain has been quite heavy too. Yeah, so unfortunately we can't do that. It is a bit gut in because that's something we were really looking forward to. It looks really fun. Yeah. So. I don't know, maybe we'll just have to come back yep. another time. It's an excuse to come back, I guess. Maybe January. Maybe. <laughs> but yeah, so we're going to head down to the next stop Yeah. tomorrow and Quick then... Quick overnight stop and then on to our next destination. Yeah, we're heading to another island, find out tomorrow, I guess, on the day after. Yeah, and it's actually, it's, not, it's one that's not that popular with tourists either. No. I don't think it's very well known. Yeah, but it's we, definitely a smaller island, isn't it? Yeah, but we've seen it online and we were like, hmm, that looks very nice. But final thoughts on mobile. Um, definitely somewhere to come and check out. Oh yeah, 100%. Like, the, it's just such a nice vibe here. This, the people are so relaxed, they're so friendly. friendly. And we've said over and over again how friendly the people are here. Yeah. Um, but the people in Mobile, they were, we were talking to quite a lot of people yesterday and they were affected so badly by the typhoon here. They were saying that the eye of the typhoon was actually directly over Mobile um, and they were affected terribly. They didn't have Wi-Fi for months, they didn't have water electric. for months, electric. Uh, and they all came together as a community and got the place back up to where it is now and you can definitely feel that community spirit here yeah everyone's so welcoming as well yeah so yeah definitely if you are in Cebu definitely make the trip down to Malbol and 
come and see this place in the people here. Yeah. But yeah, so I know it's been a short one today, but we've seen some really cool things. We are going to end it here. We're just going to have food and chill out for the rest of the evening. Just want to say thanks for watching and we will see you again in the next one.